get in there. Right now, I'm next to... Who are you? Oh, Paul. Paul. <laughs> Forget his first name. <laughs> anyway, uh, right now, I'm at Cheryl Cabaret. We're having a potluck at her house. I mean, at her new center. And uh, I started talking to Paul. Paul represents BioPro, right? BioPro, yeah. And BioPro is, uh, to me... I actually have a phone with this a cell chip, which I use. I was freaking out. Last week, I was freaking out because I didn't have a... This chip fell off. This protects... I thought it just protects me against electric, the EMF. Yeah. And I said, man, I gotta get this guy, I'm gonna corner him, literally I'm gonna corner him, and we're gonna give a lecture next door, The next door is actually a bathroom. We were gonna go to the bathroom, but it looked kind of funny when three people were in the bathroom, and it was a was one. Anyway, why don't you give a little, little story about BioPro and why it's so important, right there. Well, BioPro's uh, started five years ago, uh, really focused on devices for your phone, and this is really second generation technology. And we've identified that this is really a serious problem um, that people are exposed to. And we've developed over the past... Almost five, like brain six, tumors starting to be pre prevalent. And it's really, a, it's really a small segment of the whole overall problem. We're talking about any kind of frequency that you're exposed to, be it from any electrical device, hair dryers, anything like that, um, even wireless, WiMAX, are all frequencies that your body does not respond well to. Um, so the cell phone is just really one of the of, of a number of devices that. What really does that mean? Doesn't respond well to. Okay, well, <clears throat> how would I know I don't respond well to? Well, we, I could test you. Well, there's you various test ways me. to test you. You could use a Viridian stress test. You could right. be a uh, bioimpedance test. You right. could use uh, thermal imaging. You could right. you could use a uh, live blood test. Right. And you can really show show how the body is affected by these these toxins. Okay. The the, uh, the electro pollution toxins. Okay. Okay. And so those are very valid tests to really show right. how the technology works. And they're also saying that when you put one of these in there, it stops it completely. Well, what what happens? It it, it doesn't change the um, it doesn't change anything emitting from the phone. What it does is changes the how your body responds to the frequency coming from the phone. So it's a very very creative technology. It's patented technology that that once the phone starts working, there's a little bit of polymer in here that starts oscillating. And that oscillation creates a random noise field that superimposes itself on top of the radiation coming from your phone. So now instead of my body producing a stress reaction, because what the frequency does is put my body under stress. My body goes under protection mode because it doesn't understand the frequency. Right. It doesn't identify it. Right. So um, the body starts contracting. As if somebody was what pounding mean, on you. What do you mean you, contracting? Your, the cell walls harden. The cell walls harden. And so we know when the cell walls harden, the toxins stay in the cell and the nutrients, good nutrients, stay outside the cell. Right. So when that happens, then people start going into an accelerated level of, of aging. Because uh, aging really is an accelerated level of dehydration. You're 25. No, you're, you look good. <laughs> you're you're good. looking. Yeah, 53. Yeah. You look good. Look at that. No gray hair yeah. either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It works. <laughs> and, um, yeah, he looks good, right? <laughs> yes, he does. So, so we have um, you basically products He's that taken though. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty years, yeah. Okay, got it. We have uh, we have products that deal with um, really the three layers of uh, the health paradigm: the primary, secondary, to tertiary. We call it the stopping, and which is really the devices that go on your cell phone, and also on other electrical devices in your home. And the idea is is to take the pressure off your cells uh, in your personal environment. So in your home, which is your castle, and when you're using personal devices like this where you're most exposed to that, you want to lower the level. Okay. So in other words, you recommend a lot of these um, laptops are really kind of trying to Absolutely, absolutely. And in other words, if you're going to have any type of computer, it should be a hard wire. Yeah. And see what, what, what even self, even self, everything, everything's based on wireless, everything. Everything, everything. The iPod. The, the, the digital phone, by the way, the digital phone can be many, many times worse than your cell phone, and most people don't realize that. Wow. Very, very serious uh, issue. Most people think it's safe because, you know, blah, 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 whatever, and, and uh, it's a very, very serious issue. It could be up to 100 times, depending on the technology. Wow, wow. And uh, so if you could hardwire things, obviously better. Right. Uh, hardwire your computer. But still, a laptop in and of itself without the wireless is still a very, because it, it, a lot of this stuff is very low levels of electromagnetic fields. Right. But because you're in front of it, Quite frequently throughout the day, it does have an accumulated effect. By the way, if it gets about eight, nine minutes, just, tell, just give me a sign. Okay. Um, so what, how do people learn more about this? Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a novice. I have no, no idea. The only thing I knew is I need something for my cell phone. I mean, I was freaking out. Right. <laughs> I was freaking out. And I said, oh, my gosh, I'm not having... But I felt funny putting this cell phone next to my ear. I mean, I really felt... Innately, I knew this was damaging myself. Right, right. Like, I'm not sure whether this is even... How about I put it here with this? Would that be harmful? 
Well, without the, without the chip on her, because what the chip does is changes your, how your body responds to the, right. to the frequency coming from the phone. Right, right. So at this point, really, I'm um, harmless. It's, 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 your body is okay with the My frequency. My body's okay. Yeah. Now you have something for around the neck. Yeah, so. we have a pendant that goes around the neck, and yes. this would be the second layer of protection. Second layer of protection. And this is a pendant. We call this a bio okay. pendant. And okay. what this has is a frequency in here that enhances your biofield. And if you don't know what the biofield, and that was coined in 1995, right. and it really is a field that extends out from your body right. about three feet. And it's uh, your biofield is your, is your energetic organ, like your lungs are to your respiratory and your heart is to your circulatory. And really, it's your first line of defense against a foreign frequency, and it's the first thing that's affected. So what we have come up with is a very creative uh, way to um, restore the cell-to-cell -cell communication and enhance that, our ability to be resistant to stressors. Right. So in other words, this, so this is effective. This, this, this is your first line of defense. Yeah, this is this is really. So and this our, is my second line of defense. Well, that's really the first line of defense because, this is the first line because defense. what you want to do is stop the attack. Stop the attack. Yeah, so stop the attack so my cells can breathe, so they can uh, detox. So they can and detox. The can be so delivered delivered to the cell. cell. Yeah. And this is my second line of defense. Yes. So what this does is enhances your body armor, enhances your body armor, so you're more resistant to stressors. And okay. if I could give you a simple analogy okay. using the chip as a technology, there's two okay. technologies in there. Yeah. Visualize yourself as a medieval knight. I am a knight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what I do. Okay, and, and the cell phone radiation represents the arrow coming at you and right. intent, on, intent on doing you harm. Okay? Right. right. First technology. Shame cuts, on you. <laughs> yeah. The first technology cuts the head of the arrow off. Right. The second technology, which is what's in the in the pendant here, right. that enhances my body armor, so wow. when the arrow hits me without the head on, it right. doesn't hurt me. Wow. Okay, so wow. it very very creatively does that. Right. Um, the last layer is what we call product, uh, a series of products, uh, nutritional products, consumables, right. that we call... Are you carry around your pocket? Well, I just... To, to just happen to know that I'll be interviewed. You didn't know I was interviewed. No, you. absolutely not. No, absolutely no, not. Just, once in a while, I carry it with me. Once in a while. And it, our, it's, a, it's a home activation unit, and it was discovered as a result of the Chernobyl 1986 nuclear reactor meltdown. They yeah. found that there was a pocket of people that uh, were not getting sick from the radiation from, right, the, from the meltdown. Right. And, and, and the Russian government sent a dis, uh, dispatch to this team of scientists. Actually, there were two, two places that weren't getting infected. Yeah. The first place was a, was a church. <laughs> True story. <laughs> it's a real, real story. Yeah. Some of these people were actually the inside church the church so believed that what they did, nothing affected them. Wow. Victor Colvin is talks about that. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. So anyways, they, they dispatched and they found that they were drinking a mountain stream where the geopathic forces of the mountain range changed the structure of the water. Right into multi-layer linear versus the standard water that everyone else is drinking, which mm -hmm. is clustered water. Mm -hmm. And we know that in order for water to go into the cell, the body has to expand energy and break down that cluster of water into one molecule. Okay. And that's where I was telling you before, where the right. water goes in the aquapore, in one molecule at a time, right, in, in, into, the, into the body to hydrate. Are we genetically designed to drink water, based on what you just said? Say it again. Are we genetically designed to drink water? Or does our body have the capability to absorb water, based on what you just said? Um, Absolutely. 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 Yeah, well, here's the thing. The, the wa the, this water that was giving these people physiological health benefits right. around Chernobyl, right. and as you, as you got farther away from the mountain stream source, right. people were not getting the health benefits. So the pure water coming from the mountain stream, they were getting the most benefits from it. Okay, why don't you just tell them where you can be reached at a little bit. But actually, I'll be selling them. Not, not, I, 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 I will only sell things I absolutely believe in. I, believe, I, I really believe in this. I think it's a good thing. I'm, it's, uh, I, maybe I knew not to use it. Am I selling a little bit of information where you get it from? Sure, you can. You yeah, can give me a couple minutes. You can give me a call. Uh, uh, my cell phone number uh, is two one five two six six eight seven one zero. What's your name? My What's name, name is Paul Ripley. Paul Ripley. What's the company? I'm, the company's yeah. name is BioPro. I'm up in the Perkiomen, Pennsylvania area, and uh, you have a website. I have a website. Yeah, um, tell everybody. You tell can everybody. Go to my website uh, emf safe dash zone.com. We're going to talk, that's, that's going to be the label, EMF. Nine minutes. Okay. EMF-safe-zone.com. Where are you yeah. selling them? I'm selling my store. What's your store? Arnold's Way. Everybody, everybody knows me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, okay, I think, I, we, you know what I do in the end? I give everyone a hug. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs>